Welcome to Ground Zero Radio, hey, GZR hey, hey. Ground Zero Radio, here Hi. on 101.5 KOCI LPFM in Newport Beach, Costa Mesa. Happy Monday. Hey, hey. Yes. Happy Monday, Mike and Tris. Yeah, boy, that was fast. It seemed like just yesterday it was Monday. Monday. What the heck? <laughs> it's the Neat. metric system of weeks. <laughs> And we have Kate Shetler in the studio tonight. Hey, hey. Hello. Hello. Thanks for coming back. Thank you for having me back. We love to have you. We love to have you here. And going to be sharing your original tunes and listening to a few demos, taking a listener vote later on as well. Yeah, guys, I need your input because I'm trying to decide what to record next. So y'all need to... Help me out. Help me decide. You can listen to sneak peeks. Definitely. And Mike is going to give us the news. What's happening? Well, happy International Martini Day, everybody. Oh, thank Lord. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Sorry. (laughs) Also coming up this week, um, (laughs) Wednesday, which happens to be the longest day of the year. And and it also happens to be make uh, World Make Music Day, so that's it's kind of fun. Yeah, um, that's good. Today in history, 1973, Edgar Winter's number one hit Frankenstein was awarded a gold record. Wow! Fun fact for those who don't know, Winter named the song because of how many cuts and patches were contained in the original studio tape. Oh, wait a minute! I thought that was all one take. Yeah. <laughs> Right. No. Oh, well. well. For those of us who, who actually splice tape, we know where he's coming yes. from there. Also, splice in, block. On the stage in 2004, while David Bowie was performing in Oslo, Norway, an audience member hurls a lollipop on stage. The lollipop wedges itself in David Bowie's left eye. Oh, Ooh. my Lord. Oh. He, he avoided serious injury, but... Like we always say, don't throw lollipops. <laughs> You'll take an eye out. Okay. Now, we always say good that. to know. We do. <laughs> Isn't that <God>. funny? <laughs> um, so here's a few uh, local events this week. Uh, Tuesday, Singer Songwriter Showcase at Campus Jacks. Mm-hmm. We all know yeah. that. Um, Wednesday, as I mentioned, was is World Make Music Day. So just go out and make music anywhere. There's venues all around. Go to your... Your local tavern, your neighborhood bar. Pots and pans. Yeah, bring anything. bring your guitar, yep. s- sing in the shower, whatever. It, but it's make music days, and everybody's a musician. Very so, true. Everybody yeah. on that day? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, <I'm>, Finally. <laughs> I've become one. That means nothing <laughs> will get done. Day. Yeah. Nothing <laughs> will get done that day. Or the rest of us go fishing. a bunch of dream, and, dreaming. Let's go fishing because it's easy as fishing. Um, Okay. Um, Thursday at the observatory, uh, Drain's going to be playing. And um, at the Alex's Bar in Long Beach, had to bring this one up, Southern Culture on the Skids and Emily Rose and the Rounders are going to be playing. That's kind of fun, silly, Mm. enjoy yourself kind of stuff. Friday at the Garden Amp, Back to Basics featuring Havoc of Mob Deep. Czar Face, Slum Village, and many, many, many more DJs, everything is going to be really happening. And again, um, in the future, July 8th at Campus Jack's, Michael Oliveri Band will be doing their mm-hmm. benefit concert for Jack's Feed the Need. Boom! Heck yeah, we'll be there. <laughs> we be going. Yeah. Yep. Also, okay, so some notable birthdays today. A lot of these are Trish's favorites. Oh, um, boy. Paul Abdul. <laughs> Uh, Simon Wright, who's a drummer for ACDC and Dio. Oh, okay. Another one of Tristan Faves. Ann Wilson of Heart. Oh, absolutely. And then Brian Welch of Corn. And we got a bunch of early happy birthdays. Early happy birthday tomorrow to Brian Wilson nice. and also to Michael Anthony. Really? Yeah. Matt Anthony, give us a call. <laughs> you ought to come on in. <laughs> You're an earshot, buddy. Yeah. Bring your singer buddy, too. I think we could have a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, and so on cool. Wednesday, Ray Davies from the Kinks. Thursday, Cindy Lauper hmm. and Todd Rundgren. Oh wow! Yeah, dig Todd. And Saturday, Mick Fleetwood and guitar great Jeff Beck. Oh wow! And that's the news. <laughs> that's the news. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, wow. Mike. I, awesome. I think it takes him longer to get through the news because now we're interacting with him more. You mean getting in my way? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Stealing your spot? My limelight? 
<laughs> I see your new segment is uh, uh, is the bomb. Thank you so much. Fantastic work, Michael. Yes, as usual. Kate Shetler. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing so good. Yeah. You are you are a woman of very many talents <laughs> and good at every one of them. You're sweet. Outstanding at every one of them, as a matter of fact. And uh, we're going to play Sassy first. Do you want to tell us a little bit about this jam? Yeah, yeah. I wrote this song when I was living in Nashville. And I remember I had gone on a few dates with a guy that I really liked, but I think that he thought I was going to be this, like, little wallflower type person. <laughs> and I was <laughs> like, you know, I need to, like, announce who I who I am. I need to announce it. And I, I tend to... Um, get things out in my songs so i was like you know what i need to let him know you yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> for, yeah Can't for sure and we know wallflower in this in this studio that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, love good. it, love it. The girl, the girl, the woman, excuse me, is <laughs> sassy. She is a sassy, beautiful, strong, Aww. talented woman, musician, singer, songwriter, actress. Thank you so much. Back at ya. <laughs> Back at you, miss. Well, there thank you. you. Uh, yeah, girl, you 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 got the jams going on, and you can play that piano 
over at Campus Jacks, like a nobody's business when you're playing over there. I mean, I wow. Love piano. I love that they have a piano, number one, because as we discussed earlier, I don't love l- r- carrying my Roland keyboard um, to gigs, but they have this beautiful grand piano, but it is a joy to play it. Um, it's just a great, great instrument, so... <laughs> yes, let my inner wild child out on the keys. <laughs> yes, you do a tremendous job, and um, yeah, you've been and you've been playing over there a little more um, consistently lately. Though I think two times in a row just recently. Yes, I played two of their their Tuesday showcases, and then after the last Tuesday one, they said, "Oh, you, can you open for I forget who it was on that Friday?" And it was only three days later, and unfortunately, I had already committed to oh. an event up in LA, but. Um, yeah, no, I love Campus Jacks, and I love that they do the the um, what do they call it? Feeding, feed the need. Feed the need. Yeah, yes. so cool. I'm so all about um, giving back to the community, and I love that they do that and they take joy in it. So, yep, yes, good place, good hearted, yeah, people over there as well, cooking up the food. I was say, they, can I yeah. say good food? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's how I, that's how I lure my friends to come to my shows. Right, I'm like them good food and drinks, guys. Please come. Good food and drinks. <laughs> And the entertainment, hello. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. What are we going to pull up next? We have got lined up for you. This song is titled No Time. You have a story to go with this one? Well, just in addition to my sassy, when I wrote sassy, I wrote this not soon, not long after that. And it was just kind of in this mode of, I guess, empowerment and like, you know, telling the boys how it is. <laughs> So there's some there's some um, more more um, fun loving songs coming later, but this one is just like assertion. So there you go. <laughs>
Wow. <laughs> What's up with that right there? Yeah. <laughs> you know, okay, so as usual, I need to speak. So this, an, another reminder of how much talent is in Orange County. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I mean, good Lord. You know, Thank incredible. You. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, the, the vocal work is stellar. You know, I always feel like I'm supposed to, like I'm sitting here to be a critic or something. I'm not. I just like to support local music. And so when I hear something like that, and this has been, like, since Mike and I started doing this show, we keep getting reminded of the talent in Orange County. And it's just unbelievable. It's something that we're not familiar with because we're more of the rock guys, right? Yeah, which we need those. We need the, the rock guys. Yes, we do. <laughs> we do. We, we need it all. Absolutely. Especially the original stuff. And we are back. All right. GZR Ground Zero Radio, our special guest tonight is Kate Shetler, the one and only, the yeah, one and only. No one else can be this woman right here. So give us a little background on the production of your tunes. How do you do that? Do you write these at home and record these at home? Or are you working with a producer? Because, I mean, these are about as pro as it gets, that's for sure. Well, thank you so much. Yes. Um, so the writing of it is very informal. I just wait for an emotional wave to hit me, which is fairly often. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then just ride the wave. And, and usually the song just kind of comes out. Um, lyrics and music. I just sit, sit at my piano and write them. But then uh, I usually create a demo first. And I work right now I'm working with a producer in Nashville. Oh, okay. Um, which I know there's so many talented producers out here but i just have a relationship this with this one his name is ryan pruitt um and he's bomb and i honestly it's a great excuse for me to go see my friends in nash because i lived there for eight years (laughs) so i go back about once a year and just get in the studio and really it's like my happy place it's my little my little cubby hole of of emotional release and so he he does a great job those two um and the next one, I believe, that we're going to play, those were actually recorded in Atlanta uh, with a guy named Johnny Kunis, um, different producer, but yeah. Wow, so. fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, next up is, you know what? I need to have everything facing the right in one direction. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> this is now. Yes, now. Ma'am. This is now, now. This now. is now. This is now. <laughs> That's the name of the song as well. Oh. <laughs> I'm being an absolute dork. <laughs> Tell us about this song. I love dorks. Um, yeah, so I actually... Came to the right place. <laughs> I thought I, there was a guy that I th- literally thought I was going to marry for like a few years. This is a long time ago. I thought I was going to marry him and I thought he was the one. And then just when I was like thinking it was all going to unfold, he announced that he was engaged to someone. <laughs> <gasps> oh boy! Um, oh, so. his loss. Let me just say, well, his loss. You know, all, hindsight is twenty twenty. I'm, I'm, in retrospect, you know, thankful that it, it didn't work out. Um, but you know, happy for him. But anyway, this is that's where the song came from. So there was a time I'd have laid it all on the line for you. There was a day. When I would have given my all There was a place Where all I could see was your face There was an hour When all I could hear was your name Have built her whole world all around you. There was a child who'd have hung on your every word. There was a you who'd have sacrificed every dream. There was a heart who'd have loved you for.
Very nice. Thank you. And those yeah. soaring vocals once again. Once again. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. On top of that <laughs> range, you have quite the range. And, you know, you have such a sweet spirit, too. Thank I mean, you. just, I, I've known you for <laughs> maybe a year and a half or something roughly like that now. Yeah. And you're just always pleasant, kind, just, Aww. you're a gentle person. I really appreciate that about you. Thank you. I, I have to say that's God. So don't want to <laughs> take a cut it. <laughs> Left to my own devices, I'm sure I would. Uh, that would not always be the case, but thank you. And likewise. <laughs> thank you. So do you perform still or not? Mm, perform is not the right word. I'm so sorry. No. Nope. Do you still sing with a church praise band or choir? That's a great question. It's not for lack of trying, to be honest with you. I, I have wanted to get back into that. Um, it just hasn't, the stars haven't aligned um, at this time, but I kind of try to treat all my performances that I do in whatever the venue may be um, as a chance to just let let God's light shine and and um, whether that's a, a dive bar in L.A. or if it's a swanky hotel in Corona Del Mar or, you know, Campus Jacks or wherever it happens to be, I just treat it like the same as uh, as I would if it were church. So Right. And that shows. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, it shines so right sweet. off of you. I met a guy, I have to say, tell this real quick. I met a guy at a bar last night and he told me he likes mean women. And he's like, he's like, I, I, I prefer you to be mean. And I was like, I wish I could be. I really, I would like to try, but <laughs> catch me on the right okay. day. <laughs> catch me on the right day. But <laughs> yeah, no, anyway. you don't, definitely want to, don't want to live your life that way. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, you know. That's funny. There's so much you could say about that. I know. I know. Yeah. I probably shouldn't have brought that up. But anyway. no, it's no, a actually, base. that's that's good radio. No, it, it does there help. It that will not be on my list of pickup lines. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Can you be mean to me? Okay. That's hilarious. That What's his hilarious. name? Okay. No. no. Okay. No. <laughs> moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Okay. So crazy inside. Yes. Okay. I'm excited because this is a more like feel good kind of lovey-dovey song i just wrote this at a time when i was excited about uh someone that i had met and i got that butterfly feeling you know that's always a good sign so yeah that's it's pretty much what the song's about <laughs> here we go crazy inside by kate shetler
Jeez. Uh, I like that <laughs> that's, that's last awesome. little yeah. So uh, that was an ensemble of a full band. That was awesome. Yeah, Thank that sounded you. incredible. We oh. had fun in the studio with that one. I really love that one. Uh, I agree. It really yeah. got me. Yep. Good. Got you. Got them go. all for you. Got your blood pumping. Got me uh, toe tapping on the inside. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, you guys are the rockers. So we I are the rockers. We are the rockers. <laughs> we like volume. We're all about volume. Yeah. But yeah, so we were talking about um, off mic there that it's an ensemble, and it'd be kind of curious to find out who played on it. And then also you mentioned that you've actually played the Bluebird Cafe. Yes, I played the Bluebird in Nashville. Uh, it was a great experience and, of course, legendary. And yeah. when I first moved to Nashville, I was like so starstruck by you know, Music Row and you see all the record labels and then the Bluebird and some other historic venues there, um, the Listening Room and mm-hmm. Third and Lindsley, places like that. So I was really blessed to um, to play there. And it was very, it's very intimate. It's very oh, much yeah. a songwriter. Uh, well, I Nashville's bet. a songwriter town, really. So you, yes. Play writers rounds. That's that's the thing to do. But the bluebird, especially, um, you can tell your stories, and people really, really just sit and listen, and they're very intrigued. Um, but that track was produced in Nashville with Ryan, and I had um, some mu- musicians in studio play on that. And my reference song that I that I gave Ryan that I wanted to kind of mimic a little bit was um, a song called "Blow." that was done with Ed Sheeran, Chris Stapleton, and Bruno Mars. And oh, not a lot okay. of people know that song, but it came out a few years ago. And I was like, oh, I just love those those strong guitars. Um, so, yeah, so we got in the studio. You nailed it. <laughs> yeah, and I, I've been to Nashville only once for a trade show, and I could not believe how much music happens on Music Row. Yeah. Like, bar after bar after bar after bar. People set up in the windows, right? And I, it's just unbelievable experience. And it it's all incredible. good. That's oh, the thing. You yeah, get out yeah. on a Monday oh, yeah, night yeah. like at 10 o'clock and yes. you hear great music. You hear it, yeah. <laughs> it's just flowing into the streets and yeah. up into the atmosphere. It's an incredible experience. There's no place like it. Yep, it's true. So you Neat. you started off initially in the music, if I have this correct, um, and then you uh, got into modeling and acting. Did it go in that order? Well, I in- initially went to college for musical theater, so I kind of started with both in both music and acting in mind, and then I took a little hiatus from acting and started doing the music stuff um, in Nashville, and then I got an agent in Nashville, started doing on-camera work there, and then that led me to Atlanta, got an agent there, and then eventually out here. So, How long have you been here in California? Five years. It'll be exactly five years in August, so... Yeah, yeah, it's it's been a journey, and uh, I I really feel like the flavors of the places I've lived. I um, mean, I do I'm, I consider myself a bi coastal actress because I do um, occasionally go back to uh, Atlanta, and Nashville, and, and do work out there. But um, I just I feel like the, the the cities I've lived in have given a lot of flavors to my music. Um, my roots in Philly, and then. Of course, Nashville um, really influenced me a lot. I, I wasn't even really a country music fan, I, I confess, until I moved there. Um, then Atlanta's just got so much soul. Um, and then out here, you pretty much have everything. So Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're, well, we're certainly yep. glad you're here. Oh, me too. Yay. And we've got Unfinished Business up next. Yeah, so I think we all have a person like this in our pasts where the relationship didn't work out and you you end up just with this feeling of what happened. Like there wasn't really closure. Maybe one side had closure and the other didn't, but that was kind of where this one came from.
Shetler with Unfinished nice. Business. And so we're going to do this really interesting thing here in a few minutes. And uh, so I'm going to shout out the KOCI phone number a couple of times to you because we're going to want people to call in to 949-650-1015. What we're going to do is we're going to play three different demos or a portion of three different demos that Kate has ready to take to the studio for to come up with the finished product and mastered and release it but we want to do a vote of which song Kate should release next yeah <coughs> all right well I can make that decision on my own <laughs> yeah <laughs> no you guys have to call please yeah. call we, we do want you to nine. call in yes we, we do want callers you go to the lobby and call me there's <laughs> <laughs> a pay phone <laughs> This isn't true. This is, uh... <laughs> so the number again is 949-650-1015. All right. So let's see. So how are you going to do this? You're going to play how clips? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Well, yeah. I have. She sent me the song files. And so okay. we'll. Let's just do like two minutes because I don't want to give the whole song away. Just yeah. Okay. Yeah. But we'll really play like one and a half, two minutes. Okay. Yeah. Of each yeah. song. Yeah. Of each song. Yeah. yeah. Give and that way you get, you get verse and chorus. Yeah. Okay. And we'll do that. So let's see. The first one, song number one is Salt Water Love. Yeah. And I, I have to say, if you've come to my shows, guys, I've played this song a million times at all my shows. It's literally like the song I always open with. So everybody should know this. <laughs> Let's check it out. This is a preview, Saltwater Love. Quinn. 
quench my thirst I was taken in by his empty words Once I took a drink, I started to sink Now I'm feeling worse than I did at first Don't need your salt water love Don't need your salt water love Don't need your salt water love Take a drink, you leave, you'll dry, you'll only make you cry Feels like I'm going Hey! Okay. All right, that was song number one, <laughs> Salt Water Love. Yeah. Coming up next, song number two. This one is titled Higher Place. Number two, Number two. higher place. This is fun. You, you liking this? Yeah, this kind of goes back to the one the one artist we had in here. Oh, it was Rooster. Oh, well, he didn't get to pick his own songs. We picked them. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was like fun. multiple choice. <laughs> All right, so this is song number three titled Step Ahead by Kate Shetler. And just to remind everyone what we're doing, we are listening to three demos in a row from Kate Shetler and we want to have a listener a vote where the listener can call in and vote for their choice of which one she publishes next. Yeah, so what's that phone number? 949 949-650-1015. All right, yeah. song number 3. This is Step Ahead by Kate Shetler. Step ahead of you You're lying, cheating, messing with my head And game is to get me in your bed Don't worry, baby, I'm a step ahead of you Step ahead of you
step ahead of you You're lying, cheating, messing with my head And game is to get me in your bed Don't worry, baby, I'm a step ahead of you, yeah Trust me, I won't believe you'll be true That was song number three, All Step right. Ahead. So we have three demos to vote on. That is number one, Saltwater Love. Number two, Higher Place. And three, Step Ahead. And you still have the next five, ten minutes to call in to 949-650-1015. And I'm thinking we're going to... Uh, Take some calls, and then also before we say goodbye to Kate, we can do a studio vote. Yeah, yeah is that okay with idea. you? Well, plus, is anybody maybe people are shy about going on the radio? Can is there somewhere they can send like to you? Yes, or how to, can electronically? They? Oh, mm-hmm. that's a great, great question. Yeah, um, yeah you guys can. Um, post a comment or a, a dm on any of my socials uh at kate shetler pretty much is my universal handle um so instagram at kate Sh- oh, sorry hey we got a caller we got a caller sure looks like we got a caller i'm a listener <laughs> yay Keep calling in, people. Help a poor girl out. She's got to make a decision here. I'm in the valley of decision. (laughs) So we have a caller on the line who has called in to vote on the uh, Kate Shetler demos. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Hi. What is your name? My name is Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi. Hi. Hey, Paul. How are you? Is is this is this Miss Shetler? It is. Thank you so much for Hi. calling in. Oh my gosh, I really have like just had so much emotional release. Thank you for the opportunity. I I would definitely vote for song number two. It's a higher place. Although I danced a lot to number three, but Aww. I was crying earlier in your show to Crazy Inside. I really con- connected with uh, that that song, and thank you. Oh, thank you. And that is such great feedback. Uh, actually, you're not the first p- person in the room here to vote for, for number two. Mm-hmm. The guys are right. both unanimously in favor of that. So thank you so much. So and I'm true. so glad that um, that you were impacted uh, by the songs and that you were dancing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, uh, I was inspired to write this song to a lady, loving and at peace, grace-filled baby, lady, lady, lace, healing hearts, peace. Thank you, Kate. Sweet Lady Kate. Oh, thank that you. is so great. I awesome. really thank appreciate you. you calling. Thank, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for calling in, Paul. Have hey, Kate, I, I look forward to uh, checking out more of your work, and thank you again for sharing it with the world. Absolutely. You're welcome, and stay tuned for the next release. Sounds good. Well, uh, <laughs> Have a great ciao, night. Ciao, ciao. Thank you very much, you guys. Ciao. Bye-bye. Have a good night. All right, Wonderful. so well, there you go. There you go. Ooh, good, feedback. good feedback, Kate Shetler. On uh, what are what platforms are you on? Oh yeah, let's do that, and let's remind everybody of the the number one more time, so that if they, anybody else wants to call, it's nine four nine six five zero. And what was the one zero one five? One zero one five. Okay, so guys, call in, please help me put me out of my misery, so I know what to record next. <laughs> um, yeah, but socials you can go to at Kate Shetler, K A T E S C H E T T L E R on Instagram. TikTok is the same with a seven at the end at Kate Shetler seven. Twitter at Kate Shetler, and then my Facebook is just my name. So I'm I'm not hard to find, <laughs> and yes. I do I do respond to the DMs. Um, so, yeah, hit me up, please. <laughs> yes, awesome. So, uh, we were voting on song one, two, and three. One is Saltwater Love, two was Higher Place, and three, Step Ahead. So, yeah, it, yeah. send Kate a message and let her know which one you want her to release next. Absolutely. And 
We have been having an awesome time here tonight with you in the studio. Thank you for coming back to Ground Zero. Absolutely. My pleasure. And would love to have you back again in the future to hear your gospel music. Oh, yes. Yes. I have I have some gospel stuff that I put out a while ago, and it's on Spotify and Apple Music and all that good stuff. Um, but that would be fun to just dive into those songs a little bit and talk about the stories. Oh, that's, definitely. that's a plan. Yep. Yeah, that we're, is we're all about plan. fun here. Did we GGR. did we hear the guys' um, rationale for for what they voted for for the three demos? Do we have time to hear that? What what is their rationale? Um, mm. Well, first of all, I like the lyrics. This the title of the tune is great, and uh, I could hear I could hear the arrangement um, built with a big band, played with yeah. a big band. So it's very obvious to me. Okay. Uh, all three tunes are great. They are. But, and all, that one ha- happens to have a, a yeah. great... We're, we're talking about number two. Yes. The second song. Yeah. Yep. And what's your... Um, your well, any thoughts to add? Yeah, like like I mentioned, it really sounds like it could be a movie soundtrack. There's, there's a whole lot of substance to it. Um, it got my attention. Oh, cool. And not that I have attention... Issues. But, uh, <laughs> what were you talking about? Um, no, but seriously, it um, it really grabbed me. I I loved it. Awesome. I mean, I love everything you got going. But this is the contest. Yeah, and it, and on the musical side too, that there's the ascending chord changes that I picked up immediately. Yeah. So that that you know when you drop down to that one chord, it's like oh there it is. Yeah. You know. No, thank you guys for that feedback so much. And um, Michaela, cut me off whenever you need to. But uh, uh, when I wrote that, I was living in Nashville at the time. I was kind of in an isolated, lonely place, but I was doing a lot of songwriting. And I was feeling just, I was feeling like a little dysfunctional as a human, but in this zone of artistic, like, messiness that came, you know, birthed the song. And, um, so I've I've always reson it's resonated with a lot of people and ironically I never thought men would appreciate that song but hmm. most of the men including like band leaders and people that have have we've played it for shows and stuff the men like that song and well, I there know, you go <laughs> I, I, you never know where things are gonna land so yeah. Um, yeah I mean so far number two's in the lead so okay <laughs> <laughs> my vote is higher place as well really yes I and I also picked up on you saying something when we were off the air about adding some doing some different ethereal type of music to it yes or, instrumentation yeah yes. absolutely and I do think that that song is uh, the structure of it already will it allow you to really showcase um, a whole nother excuse me what am I look what's the word I'm looking for like a whole nother side of you yeah like yeah. the saltwater love is very that's a cool title. I love the idea of Saltwater Love. And then Step Ahead is similar to what you've already released. Yes. And so I think that Higher Place would just allow you to show more of your creative creativity. Absolutely. Well, Thank there you, you go. Thank you so it's much. It's settled. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's so productive. Yeah. Well. Man, you guys are awesome. <laughs> Next but time all, you, all you listeners out there, it's still up to you. Yeah, please. And you can still call in 949-650-1015, or you can submit your choice to Kate Shetler on any one of her social media sites. And that was song number one, Saltwater Love, two, Higher Place, and three, Step Ahead. Yeah, this was a great idea. I'm so glad we did this. It was a lot of fun. fun. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. (laughs) Yes, and 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 she and Kate Shetler is very personable. When she says she answers her DMs, she honestly does, and um, I appreciate that about you. Thank you, (laughs) thank you. I like to be authentic, and it it is me doing it. Um, I do have I do have a um, like an automated thing on my Instagram DMs for the initial reply so that I can let people know I will get to it but I do always get to them so (laughs) awesome see what a sweetheart (laughs) a talented stunning musician you're good songwriter actress you're good for my ego (laughs) (laughs) and you are just calling it how I see it girlfriend you're a sweetheart thank you all right well guys I know we're gonna have another guest in 
during the eight o'clock that's hour. True. Yep. Yes, that's hey. going to be a lot of fun. Who are we having? Well, on the we show? have Billy Ale- Alexander's here, and he's a phenomenal guitar player, songwriter, right here, also in Orange County. But uh, he's uh, he, he tours all over the United States, and he's going to be a very uh, interesting gentleman to meet because he's involved in so many different types of music and played for many different artists as well. So I'm excited to meet him in person, finally. Yay! Yep. Kate Shetler, thank you so much. We are going to kick off Crazy Inside one more time while we're doing the show transition and giving you a big, squishy, lovable hug, too. (laughs) From girlfriend to girlfriend. Yes, squish back. (laughs) Thank you so much. Love you guys. That was Kate Shetler. 
Kate Shetler with Crazy Inside.